How much time do your kids spend on screens every day? How much time are you spending on screens? Well, screen time and your kids' eyes. This is what the science has revealed as to some of the negative attributes to being on a screen all day and not being outdoors. Some experts suggest that more time on screens and less time outdoors may increase a child's risk of nearsightedness, which is myopia, so not being able to see things out in the distance. Research has also pointed to holding cell phones or tablets close to the face, and we know that kids usually have it right up in their face, as increasing the odds of also developing that myopia, the nearsightedness. This study has shown that spending more time outdoors during childhood was associated with a reduced risk of that myopia in young adulthood. So as kids are now growing and getting older, if they spent a lot of time outdoors, that was ha and had a great impact on their sightedness as they were aging. The reason why being outdoors is so helpful for eyesight, of course, I mean, not to mention the fresh air and being in the sunlight, and grounding hopefully without the shoes, but because the eyes need to focus at different distances as is found in nature, not just always in one plane of vision as it is on a device, this is really helpful for eye development. So that's really important. It's true not just for the kids, but for the older kids as well as adults. And the other attributes of what this is doing in terms of being on a screen all day in terms of our entire health and our metabolism, because research has now shown that it's not not just about the eyes, that blue light and those EMFs also raise blood glucose levels. So as much as you may be trying to keep your carbs out of your diet, maybe you're trying to lose weight, maybe you're, you have diabetes or you're pre-diabetic and you have altering blood glucose levels in the ranges where they should not be and they're too high, your devices will make that difference as well, raising your blood glucose levels. So it's something to be aware of for everyone, but kids especially. So my tips here for having healthy vision for your kids' eyes, for your eyes as well, is to have and make sure that your kids are spending at least one to two hours with outdoor play. So making sure that they are outside playing outdoors. I do this as much as possible with my own children and often you've got to get out there with them. As well as holding their devices at a distance. So if they really do have to have some screen time, making sure that they're a little bit further away from that device and that screen is going to make a big difference. Always wearing blue light blocking glasses, especially after the sun has set because of that artificial light in the eyes is going to be important for your kids. And as well, opening a window. So during the day, having those natural photons of light coming in through a window, especially when the kids are on a device, is going to be a big difference for their eye health, but also for mitigating some of those risks from those EMFs. So for more information though on improving eye health, check out my video, the link between leptin resistance and eye health. I'll see you there.